Hi, this is Faith McDonnell. I direct the Religious Liberty Program at the Institute on Religion and Democracy, and this is my first podcast for Faith on Freedom. I wanted to talk to you about my latest blog post on Juicy Ecumenism, IRD's blog, where I talked about the recent passage of the International Religious uh, Freedom uh, Commission's reauthorization bill. Uh, we have been working for months to make sure that the U.S. Commission on International Religious Freedom is reauthorized. This is an important commission, part of the International Religious Freedom Act of 1998, which I personally worked very hard on, so I'm glad that the commission has once again been reauthorized. Uh, and for four years this time. And this goes to show, as I said in my blog post, what it does for uh, these kind of policy issues to have advocacy, to have um, voices that speak on behalf of the persecuted. And we did have that. We had a great letter. It was actually supporting a stronger version of the Reauthorization Act by Senator Marco Rubio. IRD signed on to it. I was able to recruit a number of our Anglican bishops in the Anglican Church in North America, as well as our Archbishop Foley Beach and our former Archbishop Bob Duncan. Um, and it we put together a letter with a, a large coalition for 118 uh, groups and individuals to sign on to. Without that, who knows? We may not have even gotten the reauthorization that we did get. But as I said, this shows that when we speak up, policy can be changed. And what needs to happen is for churches across America to speak up on these issues of Christian persecution. Um, the, particularly right now, the slaughter of Christians in Iraq and Syria by ISIS. We need to speak up. The church needs to speak up for its own, for brothers and sisters who are being persecuted. Um, we know that we there are also Yazidis and other religious minorities being persecuted. We need to speak up for them as well. But the church has sometimes been reluctant to speak up for its own. It uh, feels that we can't just talk about our own people, but nobody's talking about them. My Jewish friends say, why aren't Christians speaking up for other Christians? Everybody wants to know that, and w that needs to happen. We need a roar. We need Christian churches across America to say, we want to stop the persecution of our brothers and sisters. Hashtag stand for persecuted Christians. Uh, I will be writing about this again in the future. I hope you will look at the blog posts on Juicy Ecumenism, and I hope that church churches and Christians across America will focus as much on their brothers and sisters and on global issues as they do on the issues in their own backyard. Thanks and God bless.